Hey everybody, good morning. It's Patty with Get Personal with Patty. And this is my last check-in for July. I've already started with yesterday's paycheck, the 29th. That paycheck is going to be my first paycheck for August, which I'm going to do that video later on today. So you might get two videos today. Um, and then I'm also going to do probably Sunday a video of my August planner. So I use the 7 by 9 Erin Condren. I set it up from Friday to Thursday because I get paid on Thursday, but the first day is considered Friday. So we did some gas. We did some dine out. And then really not too much. Monday through Thursday of spending other than bills that actually come out. Um, I'm really excited about, I always talk about this, but having the little takeout sticker. So when I do put my sticker down, my budget sticker down for takeout, I put the little takeout box. So at a glance, I can look at this whole calendar for July and see the takeout boxes and know when we do takeout. I do the same for gas. And now for August, I almost want to go grocery shopping just because of it. But I got some, if I can find it, right? I can never find something when I want to find it. You ever get for those things? Um, I got some little grocery bags. Oh, they're so cute. I got two different ones because, yeah. Like most people, I'm a sticker hog. So I got these from... Opal designer. So I got these the little grocery bags. And I'm gonna do the same thing. When I spend when I get a little bit of groceries, I'm gonna put the little sticker. And at a glance, I can see how much groceries we got for the month. And then I got these as well. So cute, right? I love it. The little grocery bag. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to use them. So not I mean not crazy. Or we just dine out, so you can see right last Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's when we usually do a dine out anyways. We got pizza, we had breakfast Saturday, and breakfast Sunday. So not too crazy, but I know what, we were over, already over budget for food, and then the last week. So in the beginning of the month, I, I put this Excel spreadsheet together, and I put it right in my 7x9 Erin Condren book. And then at the end of the month, my clothes out, I just write in everything, you know, where it was spent. So I'd already done this. So for groceries for July, we budgeted three fifty, we spent four twenty eight thirty seven. Dine out, we budgeted three hundred, we spent four oh three. Extra child care, we budgeted two fifty, we were under the budget at two twenty one. Uh, house cleaner, we budgeted 200 We spent 250 which is this should be 250 because we do it twice a month. Gas in the cars, we budgeted 350 We were under budget at 327 I'm surprised. BJ's, we budgeted 200 and we spent 262 So that's basically what you know, um, the groceries, the dine out, the extra child care, household, I haven't added up yet, but the gas. You know, that's what I like to keep track of most mostly. I do put this in here and then I can tweak or untweak this for the following month. Um, in, in August, we are going away for about five days to visit my mother-in-law. So that's like going to be a whole separate where we're already saying we're going to take a thousand dollars. And that's it. And that's really more for spending money. You know, we're going to try to do the zoo. And it's warm up there as it is here in Massachusetts. So going out to dinners, you know, that's that's what that money really is for. And then, you know, again, here in the weekly check-in is when, when I actually really did everything. I just write down where we spend it and add it up. And then, you know, I, I subtract it from this little chart over here. So we were already in the red at the end of week three. So we're again over budget in the groceries by $78, in dine out by 103. And 
in gas, we are under budget by 22. Extra child care, we are under budget by 28. So we tweaked a little bit for August. I mean, it's not, it's that's not a big deal. Um, so really, that's really that's the end of July. I mean, it's not really, other than household, which I'll have to add up eventually, but kind of gives me an, a good idea of you know where we've been, where we're going. Um, there are some changes coming to August, and so this is the perfect quote for August because there are some changes. You can't move forward by looking back. So I will just show you actually my August idea. This is my um, you know August planner. I've already kind of highlighted some things and we've already spent some money yesterday. Again, my August budget through Excel. So I write it here. So I, I kept, you know, groceries I kept at 300. Dino I kept at 300. Again, knowing that we're gonna go away is why I did that. Extra child care I put at 250 because there's a whole two weeks there that um, it, it actually probably would be more than that. I'm not sure why I did that because it'll probably be closer to three or four hundred. I might wipe that out and change it. Um, you know, the biggest change in August is that we did get an equity loan. We took some equity out of our house. And we got an equity loan and we paid off uh, one car payment and one and all our credit card bills. So that means that on a monthly basis, we're going to have extra money. And we're going to, you know, we have some savings challenges that we need to do and some financial goals, which is really, you know, the big thing is to start putting some savings aside as well as um, some money, extra money in the IRA and our ABLE accounts our retirement accounts. These stickers are by, I wanna say Emmy Budgets or Becky Budgets, but I will confirm that for you down below. They're really cute for August, pool, you know, very pretty. She actually hands write them herself. I really like them because they're authentic. Um, so I will definitely write that in the description of whose stickers they are. I'm sorry. I, I'm pretty sure it's Emmy Budgets. E-M-I. And then I am doing a, a, a second, another page in here with variable income because as you all know, if you've been here a while, I have a side hustle where I'm a recording secretary for a few towns and sometimes I get other extra money. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the income type. So for example, I got some funds for extra child care yesterday and it was $500. So I put this here as $500. I budgeted $500. The actual amount was $528. I put where, what account I deposited it in. And then I'm using this page as where I'm spending or where I'm proposing to spend that money. So the first one was $500. So I'd like to put $100 in my reverse IOU. I'm not really sure that's going to happen. But I also put $100 toward extra child care right now which got paid out today. And then the second variable income that I got yesterday was one of my towns for five hours of the minutes. I got 72.78. That went into my personal account where that money um, I, I already put, I already bought some stickers for 20 and I put $15 in the Christmas fund. So kind of want to do that just to kind of, it, it's more this page that I really like is to keep track of how much money I get in extra or through my side hustle on a monthly basis. I'm expecting some money from another town that I haven't gotten yet and I really wanna just keep track of that. Over here, I'd like to keep track of where I'm spending it, but I figure the two pages will work together and it'll be easier to track that. And then I might just do one more tracking page uh, like I did in July when we spend the money, but I might not. Um, I'm not sure if that worked for me. It was hard to remember to do that since I already do that in the Budget Mom workbook. So that's really the end of July and August of what we're budgeting. And, you know, like most people, I like a new month as well because especially with August, we're not paying any credit card bills. Um, you know, it's just a little bit of freedom and 
you know, getting some of my ch savings challenges done and, and make it, making sure, you know, I put the money in every week for savings challenges, you know, because um, I did borrow money, I owed money in the reverse IOU, and I really just want to get that up to date. I enjoy having the IOU, the reverse challenge, and, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to owe money in it. So I'm going to do that in the next week. So that's my closeout for July. Kind of see where, where, where things are going in August, and there are more videos to come. So, hey, thanks for everybody for watching. Have a nice day and a nice weekend. Take care of yourself. Bye now.